it's Goody and I am here with two dolls from the Monster High Gloom and Bloom line. I've got Jane Boolittle and Venus McFlytrap. Before I open them, I always like to look at their artwork together because it's so pretty. Love it. All right, I am going to start with Venus, the perfect doll to be featured in the Gloom and Bloom line as she is the daughter of the plant monster. There's his Gloom and Bloom with some spooky looking vines and thorns. Here she is with some Venus flytraps. Pretty cool looking dress and some Venus flytrap ankle bracelets. She's got her own plant and a pitcher. Venus McFly trap, Monster High. Adorable illustration of her. The corpse flower only blooms once every 1300 years and it's happening at Monster High. So what do you do to celebrate an opening that is a millennium in the making? You throw a party, of course. And now the ghouls are ready to blossom in their fantastically floral fashions. Hey, this is no time to be a wallflower. Get out on the floor and dance the fright away. And remember, be yourself, be unique, be a monster. All right, let's get her out. There you can see her on her beautiful, colorful background. And here, of course, is the greenhouse at Monster High. I love the colors, so vibrant. Very cute. Both dolls come with a skullette brush that says Monster High and a black doll stand that says Monster High on the base. And a little booklet, Monster High Venus McFly Trap. There is the corpse flower before it's bloomed when there's swatches of fabric. And I guess samples for makeup. That is really cute, I like that. Cute concept. Each doll comes with their own plant and pot, and hers is orange, and her plant is green, of course. It looks like little fly traps all over the place, and the roots are little fly trap heads that almost look like sharks, like they have a little fin on top. And I'm guessing you can just put it in the pot. That's pretty adorable. A gorgeous decoration for her room. She also came with this adorable water pitcher that has vines all over it and a flytrap shape at the spout. Here is our gorgeous ghoul ready for the gloom and bloom dance. Well, her hair is different than I've ever seen it with an undershave instead of a side shave and it's still flocked or fuzzy and then pulled up in a ponytail. And she has black streaks on each side and a nice hot pink one down the middle. And she has a flytrap ornament in her hair. And it looks like her makeup matches the palette in her notebook. Venus has her classic leaf-shaped ears, some little viney earrings beautiful blue-green eyes and fangs on her lips so it kind of looks like a fly trap and her dress wow lots of fabric longer than is typical and the pattern on the fabric is fly trap plants of course and again the colors from the color swatches in the booklet I love that idea that's really cute and she's got long sleeves, kind of a mesh stretchy netting. And I love that the top of the arms make kind of a little netting poof, which I have never seen that before. And her dress is high necked with a choker style necklace made of vines. And this is all one piece, a dress. Velcro on the back and an attached velvet belt. And she has one vine coming over this side of her dress and she has vine cuff bracelets and some texture on the top of her hands. 
And these are deluxe dolls, so they are fully articulated at the wrists and elbows, and their arms move, legs, knees. Well, her little black booties are somewhat unremarkable, but these ankle bracelets make up for that a little bit. They match her hair piece. Pretty awesome. She looks ready to rock out at the gloom and bloom dance. All right, let's get Jane out here. Here she is, Miss Jane Boolittle, daughter of Dr. Boolittle. I adore the artwork on these boxes. So vibrant and detailed. I love all the little spiralies. Definitely looks influenced by Tim Burton. And there we have Jane dressed for the dance. She's got some cool shoes on and she's got a little plant in there as well. Jane Boo Little. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And it looks like the little blurb is identical to Venus, so we can just go ahead and get her out. She's got the same exact background. Here's Miss Jane's booklet. Oh, I just love the fashion sketches. Her fabric swatches, makeup, really cute. I really like these. And Jane came with this gardening shovel made of a bone. And the handle looks like a rope, darling. Here's her little pot. And here are her hibiscus or probably dibiscus and there are little skullettes in the middle. And skulls on the roots. <laughs> Adorable. Here she is, wow, I really like her. I love her purple skin and the white dots on her cheekbones under her eyes beautiful lip color and she's got little feather earrings with a skullette at the top and her dibiscus here with skullettes hanging down. I adore her hair color, this very dark blue purple color with some fuchsia streaks going through it. Just kind of a plain straight look with a layered cut, but I love it, especially with the flower ornament. This line uses a lot of fabric in their designs. I love it. I could almost see this on Ginifier. Her blouse is red satin with skulls and flowers in the print. She has a little patent leather design on her left shoulder also. So let's see, is this a dress? Oh, it's a skirt and a very form-fitting blouse. Oh, I really like that. The top of the skirt has patent leather piping and she also has a turquoise blue belt with a skullet. And her skirt, ooh, it's so fuzzy. It's really soft. That's adorable. She has a bracelet of little tiny skulls, little purple hands with some fingernails or claws and some blue shoes again with the red hibiscus like in her hair and on the heel of the shoe is a stack of skulls her shoes are more detailed than Venus's interesting gorgeous we'll have to vote on which is your favorite but first let's have a look at Amanita nightshade Bad Seed of the Corpse Flower. Obviously, I already opened her a while ago. She's technically not part of the Gloom and Bloom line, although she's an integral part of the Gloom and Bloom storyline, as the Gloom and Bloom dance is set around the blooming of the corpse flower that she pops out of. She has leaves around her eyes and a viney corpse flower in her hair. She has very long purple hair with some very tiny light fuchsia streaks in it. 
It's really very beautiful. And her dress has lots of fabric too. And the base looks like sheer leaves hanging down with these purple little ruffles. And then there's a little mini underneath. And the top of her dress has little ruffle sleeves. I love the crisscross ruffle here. A double ribbon belt and a viney necklace. A spiked bracelet cuff here. And this is definitely a dress. Although this comes off and there's a mini underneath. How cute is that? Love the ruffle around the neck. And she's got some flower cuffs on her ankles too. However, hers doesn't completely match the one in her hair. It looks like a corpse flower before it has bloomed. Let's get a look at all the ghouls together. Amanita, Venus, and Jane, there are three missing. I don't have the Katrin Demieux, the Jennifer Long, or the Cleo Denial. The Jennifer and Cleo were Target exclusives and are very difficult to find and expensive right now. But hopefully I will find those three in the future. Let's go ahead and vote. I'll leave Amanita out. Who is your favorite? Do you like Venus with her undershave or Jane? Oh, I love the little fire tips here. Really cute. Thank you to everyone who voted in my community tab poll. Be sure to subscribe if you'd like to take part in the next poll where you guys choose what Monster High dolls I open next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye for now.